What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video I wanted to discuss the latest iOS 10.2 jailbreak developments with you guys, so get hyped, let's jump right into it. So a couple weeks back the iOS 10.1.1 firmware did receive a jailbreak. Now this jailbreak was in beta form, it was titled Yalu, and it did come from developer Luca Tedesco. Now this beta jailbreak did support the most recent devices including the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 7, but it did have a number of bugs and it still remains unstable to this day. So because this jailbreak really is meant for developers, it left many of us wondering what's next and why there wasn't a stable release of a jailbreak like the PP jailbreak back on 9.3.3 that just allowed you to jailbreak your device wherever you were and it was super simple to download. Luca really intended that jailbreak to be for developers and he left out mobile substrate which is actually what allows Cydia and the tweaks to work very well on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So he really did not want the end user to be using this. So due to that I have not actually jailbroken my iPhone 7 yet. This is my iPhone 6S running iOS 9.3.3 and many of you have been commenting asking about the iOS 10.2 jailbreak and I do have some good news directly from Luca Tedesco himself to share with you guys so very excited about this. Luca is a great developer and on Twitter he did post as you guys can see here that he will be releasing those fixes for the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak as soon as he can along with a support option for iOS 10.2. Now this is excellent news but sadly along with this as you guys can see from his tweet here there will not be support for iOS 10.2 jailbreaks on the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. Now although some of you may be upset about that I know I am a little upset about that this is still good news. Now although the iOS 10.2 firmware will not have a jailbreak on the iPhone 7s, this is still great news because it will support all of the other recent devices like the iPhone 6s, iPhone 6, iPad Pro, and more. Along with that I wanted to give you guys my recommendation as to what to do with the jailbreak and which firmware you should actually be on depending on what device you are running. At this point in time iOS 10.1.1 is no longer being signed by Apple so it does make the decision a little bit tricky. If you have already gone and updated to iOS 10.2 you cannot downgrade as iOS 10.1.1 is no longer being signed so I recommend to stay on iOS 10.2 if you have already upgraded to that firmware. Do not upgrade to iOS 10.1.1 2.1 stay on iOS 10.2 if you currently have that installed. Now if you are on iOS 10.1.1 regardless of whether or not Apple is still signing it you can still remain on that firmware so that is my official recommendation is to stay on iOS 10.1.1 as long as you possibly can. If you are on an iPhone 7 obviously you have to deal with what is already installed so if you've installed iOS 10.2 the same applies to stay on 10.2 if you still are on iOS 10.1.1 you can stay on that if you do have iOS 10.1.1 running on any other device, try to remain on that firmware as well because you will still be able to jailbreak it even though the iOS 10.2 jailbreak is coming, you don't lose anything by not upgrading. If you do upgrade, you will actually risk losing the ability to jailbreak it if the iOS 10.2 jailbreak does not come around. So from any firmwares forward, iOS 10.2.1 or iOS 10.3, ignore those and whatever firmware you have, hopefully most of you are on iOS 10.1.1, I recommend to stay on that and do not upgrade any further past iOS 10.2 we will have a jailbreak in the near future, and really that's my ultimate recommendation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this great jailbreak news. We do know that the jailbreak is coming and will be stable in a matter of time. Really excited for this, guys. I can't wait to open up Cydia and use all the tweaks that I used to have on my iPhone 6S. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to subscribe for more updates on the jailbreak and follow my social networks down in the description for more news. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Stay awesome. Peace.